and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Maypole Farm here on Farming Simulator 19. Nearly said 17 then, still a bit of a habit. Um, good reception on the last video. I know this isn't obviously the most British looking map we've ever played here on the channel, but you guys seem to be accepting it for now, which is good because it's not really, we don't really have any other options. Now, I am aware that at the time of recording this, Sutton Farm has been released. I don't know if I'm going to play Sutton Farm personally. Um, but let me know in the comment section down below if you really want me to. I think it's going to be quite a clustered map. Like, not the map itself, but I think every YouTuber is going to be playing it. So I'm going to try and be a little bit different. That's my idea anyway. But if you guys really, really, really want it, then we can work something out. But um, I may even put it on the multiplayer server. But anyway, enough yibby yabbering. Welcome back to Maple, like I just said. Um, good reception. Let's get this lifted up. We are just finishing up the headland here on this field. So if you guys remember, if you guys did see episode number one, sorry, we actually started cultivating this field we've now finished it i'm just doing a little bit of a headland here um and we're now ready to go so we do have some plans that you guys have decided the fate of our farm so as you guys know we bought a bit of wasteland in episode number one you guys have decided what you want to do with said wasteland um how could i forget one massive change to the let's play finally as you can see next to the speedometer there we have shuttle mode i am so glad we have shuttle mode now it was only last video actually i was moaning about you know accidentally reversing the tractor and stuff we now have it we also have four wheel drive and diff locks and stuff down on the bottom right hand corner as well doesn't work as well as it did in drive control but i'm hoping it's a work in progress sort of thing and uh, i believe this is where we started right here so let's go ahead and stop uh, we'll get our beacon light on Let's go ahead and turn our four-wheel drive and diff locks off, as you can see in the bottom there. Actually, we have sound effects as well. In fact, if I turn the tractor off, you can hear it engaging, disengaging, all that malarkey. Um, four-wheel drive, uh, sorry, not four-wheel drive, reverse. That depends on what sort of uh, shuttle mode you got. So this one is apparently electronic. I don't know if that's right or not. I've never driven this tractor in real life. But one thing I don't have mapped out yet, I don't really see the point in it. But if you guys listen to this as well... We also have a handbrake. But like I said, I haven't got that mapped out just yet. I will do that at some point. Um, let's go ahead and get this turned around. So, I do have the shuttle mode mapped out to the steering wheel. Uh, or to the flappy paddle, to be more specific. So, if you see me flipping and flappering on the left side of the steering wheel, that is my shuttle mode. So, really glad to have that back. But anyway, let's get on with the farm. Uh, so, today we need to do a little bit of drilling. I have gone ahead and rented some equipment. And there's also... Not a bug, but an issue I found with something that we did in the last video, and I'll go ahead and show you that guy. Uh, show you that now when we get back to the yard. So I asked in the last video, this bit of wasteland that we're about to pass now is pretty big. Do we build a yard here, or do we turn it into fields? And a lot of you guys to turn it into fields. So we're going to be plowing some of this up um, today. We're going to be doing half of it as like an animal placeable yard. That's what other people said. So we're going to be splitting the land in half basically. Um, but first of all, let's go ahead and turn in to our yard and um, there's also a lot of questions about where i got the caravan from if you look in the comment section i've accepted loads of comments that went into the review bin where people were sending there's loads of different links where you can get it from basically so if you look in the comment section of episode number one you know where to get the caravan mod from right let's go ahead and get that lower down for a second did i double press that i did oops right so that's now taken off so, I'll show you the issue with what we had last time. Um, if I can just jump out a second. So, this shed here is great. It looks fantastic. However, the tip coals aren't working very well. So, this bit of canola here is currently stuck there. I can get the pile per like perfectly fine. Um, but I can't get this bit here because it's gone underneath for some reason. And we can't get it. So, I'm going to have to use a conveyor belt probably to get that out. But... I need to head to the store. We do actually have a sea drill down there that we've actually bought. We're not rented that, but we have rented this front loader for now. I use this to try and scoop that pile up. If you guys saw in episode number one, it's sort of spilled everywhere out the side. So we used the front loader with that bucket to um, to do that. So let's go ahead and go then get our sea drill. We have the bags of seeds ready to go here that we're going to be using today. Um, so I just want to try something a second. I'm going to head down to the store to get the sea drill. I also want to try something. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Right, everybody, so we are now just entering the store here. And I'll show you what we've bought. So we have a seed drill here, only a small one. This is the Amazon one, I believe that is. And we also have a plow as well that we need to get for later on in the video. So let's go ahead. It's so loud on the outside for some reason. I don't know what game setting I've changed, but the out 
the exterior volume for tractors is extortionate. Is it really loud? Right, so let's go ahead and hook that up like so. So we've got nothing in here at the moment. Um, in fact, what are we going to plant? I feel like canola is a good one. Um, but we do, do we need some straw? We already need straw. I feel like canola is a good place to start. Um, right, let's head down here. Let's take us back. Okay, so we're back at our makeshift yard for now. I am going to be getting rid of that caravan at some point. I don't know what I'm going to put there in return, but we need a couple more things. We need like, a silo and stuff in here as well. It's going to be pretty tight. We need to do some groundwork, but that's for a different video. Right, let's get this thing into reverse here. We'll stop here. We'll get it into forwards. In fact, we will use the handbrake for this. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Let's get that lower down. And I don't know the button for it, so we're going to use the keyboard to lift up the the case there, or the cover even. Right, let's jump in to the Kramer. Is that how you say it? Kramer or Kramer? I don't really know. Right. I love the sound of this thing. Absolutely love it. Right, so there we go. We'll get those lifted up here. Um, how do I extend the boom? Been a, I'm a bit rusty with the old controls here. Right, so we'll fill that up. We're going to the first container first. Hopefully that will spread along to the other side. Probably not going to use. No, I was about to say. Probably not going to use any of these bags fully. We're going to use the thousand liters, which isn't ideal. Let's anyway, take the tension off these bags so they don't rip. That is not what I wanted to do. There we go. Right, so we've got a full C drill for now. That should do. We'll go ahead and probably take the crane down to the field with us in a second. Let's get the cover put on here. Get it lifted up. So we're not going to be doing um, handbrake off. We're not going to be doing. Um, drilling for this whole video, don't worry. We're probably going to do a little time lapse, or maybe we won't time lapse this. Maybe we'll time now uh, time lapse the plowing instead. But yeah, we do a little bit of this now, just so we've got it, a little bit of a job done during this video. It's not a complete waste of time, and then we'll of course do do that now. One thing I don't need to make sure I don't do when I'm uh, making this field is lose the road that we kind of temporarily have. Um, make sure I don't plow that in because that'll be a bit awkward. We're actually doing all right. I feel like we should have four wheel drive on though. Um, do it when we get onto the field. Do it right for horsepower. So I went with this seed drill instead of the other bigger ones because this is obviously the lowest horsepower requirement. And, uh, well, it's pretty small and nimble to get around these tight uh, corners. Turn ins? Corners? Whatever. Right, so we're going to go ahead and do what we did with the cultivating. We're going to go ahead and start about here. We're going to do the headlands at the end, of course. So, what crop do we want? Um, one other change I've made is if I go to there, you can see I've changed the icons out. I think they look pretty cool, personally. Let me know what you think. Um, unfortunately, they don't work on the HUD. I was looking into it, but could not find a way to do it, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and do canola for now. Just see, this is the only field we've got left. We just harvested canola. We just put canola back into the. All right, let's get it turned on, which we've done here. Now, I need to work out what the marker... Right, so I got it. I think I got it. Let's go ahead and drop the marker down there like that. Lower the drill, and I need to try and go as straight as I can. So what I'm going to do is just keep the steering wheel straight. And cruise control. Go. Go forward. Cool. So look at these textures. I've checked the textures out, but they're work in progress. I'm tweaking some of them, so I'll go ahead and tell you a proper story on that later on. It looks like we're moving over, even though I've got the steering wheel really straight, which is not making any sense whatsoever. Cool. So that's our first pass done. I'm going to probably stop about here. Get that lifted up. Get that ridge marker lifted. Um, and one thing I usually like doing is... Hang on a minute. This ridge marker seems wrong. Really? Right? This ridge marker seems wrong. I'm pretty sure ridge markers are meant to be where you follow for the next pass, but this is pretty much on the edge of what we've just done, so it kind of feels like a bit of a waste. But uh, let's go ahead and get yeah, that ridge marker there. Let's get that down. And um, we'll follow the ridge marker, I suppose. Like I said, it doesn't feel it just doesn't feel right, guys. Let me know in the comment section. I feel like the ridge marker is meant to be a little bit further out than what is actually done. Right, okay, everybody, so that is now done. Let's go ahead and head out of here. I need to head down to the shop one more time to get the uh, the plow, of course. But um, I did find out as well that the ridge marker for this particular seed drill um, is for the wheel. So the wheel goes in the ridge marker. If you guys were shouting that previous to that in the comment section, I do apologize. I liked out myself. 
Um, yeah, you put the wheel into the ridge marker and you get a perfect... Um, well, you try the best you can to get it at the ridge marker. And then you get a perfect uh, spread, if you will. Uh, seed? I don't know what the word would be. You know what I mean. Right, so let's go ahead and turn this into here real quick. Um, make sure if it's turned off. It's actually still turned on. If we know you don't turn these seed drawers on, but still. All right, I'm going to go ahead and park this next to the caravan for now. Because I'm going to be needing it again very shortly. Let's get it lowered down. Uh, disconnected. Back and forward. Right, let's get this plow and uh, we'll start making some actual changes to the farm, shall we? Okay, so we are now approaching the what we've been calling the wasteland, which is this here, which is where we're meant to build our yard. But for this typical let's play, we're going to keep our yard in there. Once again, we can extend if we want to. Uh, so, like I said in the, earlier on in the video, half you said about making this into fields. Some of you wanted me to turn it into yard. There wasn't very many people that said that though, and some of the quite a lot of people said animal yard. So, um, we're going to go ahead and split between animal yard and field. So let's go ahead. And get this thing unfolded first of all. Now, what is turn flowers? That one. Let's go ahead and turn it around. Like so. Right. I think. I'm thinking about here. So, I'm going to assume we're going to need our four wheel drives, our diff lock, and all this malarkey on for this. Let's drop the plow down. There's no going back now. We've already started. Right. So I'm going to try and follow this as much as we can. Um, trying to, obviously I'm not going to take any steep turns. Like here, for example. For me, it's a little bit too too steep of a turn to just turn. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the corner. Lift it up. And see how we get on like this. So turn around like so. Right. And we'll proceed. It's actually a perfect shaped field. It's not square, but like we've got nice straight edges, which is going to come in handy when we're harvesting and all that malarkey. As long as I can get it uh, ploughed in in a straight line, of course. Right, let's get that lifted up. So yeah, let's go ahead and make a start on the uh, the outskirts, because I'm pretty sure this is the most interesting part about doing this. Once you start doing the passes, it gets a bit boring. So sit back, enjoy our time lapses, and uh, I'll catch you guys in a second. Right, okay, so as you may have seen in the time lapse, if it went well, let's get that turned off a minute because it's going to be really loud when we jump out of here. We've gone ahead and plotted out the outskirts of our field. So I didn't go all the way to the fence here because I wanted a bit of a road to come down, if that makes sense. And here, if we just super run, um, I feel like this is going to be good enough for now. I might straighten it out at some point, like here, it goes off track a little bit. But then uh, this here will be, well, we could make some of it a forestry area, maybe. Some of it's going to be an animal pen like you guys asked for. Um, but for now, I think this is going to be a good size field. Of course, we need to get all the, uh, the middle plowed up now, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the bum to do, but it has to be done. So this is the basic shape of the field right now. Um, so I've got the fun task ahead of me of uh, plowing this all up, which is, which is not good. It's a bit boring. It's going to be a bit boring of a task, but <sighs> let's give it a go, shall we? I is what I tell myself So I could feel something else Yeah, I guess I had my bad days But it doesn't mean I lost myself Darling, where were you When my heart was on the ground I thought time would prove That you would stick around I guess time stood still A king without his crown
Right, okay, so as you can see, we've made a good old start here. Um, I've started in the middle, um, so I've got both sides to go up and down, but uh, this is going to take a long, long time in... Oh, wrong button. Wrong... It's going to take a long time in real life, so um, I'm gonna not going to bother wasting any more memory space recording this and just to cut it, most of it out anyway. So I'm going to continue this off camera. We do have one more job to do. Um, we need to head back to the yard real quick, so let's go ahead and do that. So we need to get back into the rented combine. Once again, we rented that, we don't own this, so I'm trying to get all the fields done as quick as I can so we don't have to pay for another day of uh, rental on this, but let's go ahead and pull this out of the way real quick. Let's get it into boon mode, get it into reverse. Let's park it in the shade, why not? Keep out the sun. Um, lower it back down. Cool. So that should do that nicely. Uh, so yeah, like I said, we need to jump ahead, uh, go ahead, sorry, and jump back in to the Massey Ferguson. We've got one more field to harvest, and uh, what crop is it right now, actually? It is... We're currently, so we are now heading back to the field. Now, as you can see, elephant in the room, we have a new header, because it turns out the field that we need to harvest now is sunflowers. So we're going to be using a corn header for that. A um, little bit cheaper than a uh, sunflower header, in my personal opinion. It's a bit slower. But it's the same job anyway, so um, there's our new field with the Ford at the other end. Um, can't wait to get that finished and start getting the crop into the ground there. So yeah, we're going to be head, uh, go ahead and do some sunflowers real quick. I hate this corner here. Take it nice and slow and we're good. Let's get our beacon lights off. We don't need them on anymore because we're now on private land. So yeah, get that done as soon as possible. Get a crop put into there. Um, so, I don't actually know how to get into this field. Um... I think it might actually be that entrance there. Let me have a look. I'm an idiot. That is not the field we're going to. It's this field right in front of us. So let's go ahead and start turning into here. We'll get this unfolded first of all. We'll get the top open at the same time as well. Right, so we are just going to be harvesting the corn from this. Right, let's get it turned on. No, that's not what I wanted to simulate. There we go. Let's get that selected so we can lift it up and down as we choose. Boing. Right. So I'm probably going to do two headlands. It's quite a small header that we got on. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here. Um, you guys saw harvesting in the first episode so I'm not going to bother capturing all this on camera. So next time you guys come back and join me on the farm here this field should be done. Should be in the keyword. I'm also going to try and get the uh, field plowed up as well over there. But thank you very much for joining me. If you guys did enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. Let's go ahead and get this lift up real quick. Put it into reverse. Put that sunflower texture there, look. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for joining me. If you guys did enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. I've been Simulate Gaming and I'll see you in the next one.